It's a business-related question now. I, I, Bruce, I, I knew that that was going to be a business-related question. Go ahead. I don't get, you know, too many Harvard grads on this show, so I'm going to take advantage <laughs> of that brain of yours. <laughs> okay, he's waiting. Okay, here it is. I, I don't, I don't promise the brain part, but, but sure. I, okay, I, I, no, that's all right. I will. Uh, try and and <laughs> Zorian has a lot of humility about that. I just like to tease him a bit about it. <laughs> What advice can you offer entrepreneurs right now to help them grow in this economy? And what keeps you motivated to, to do what you do day in and day out? So what, what, this is kind of a two-parter. So what advice I would give for the entrepreneurs in this economy? And part B was, what is it that keeps me... Uh, keeps you motivated. Keeps um, you motivated. Keeps you motivated. Well, let me answer part A. So, so advice for the entrepreneurs. Um, last time I said, you know, in an analogous question, I answered that, you know, the advice is work hard. Yeah. Um, and it, that one always works because. Yeah, because I'm not I, letting you off the hook that easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think many people who actually work hard and, and give their best fail. Not, not many do. And if they do, it's, they learn something from it. But um, but in this economy is a little bit of a of a, of a different uh, framing of the question. And look, what I'll say is, you know, I, I read Wall Street Journal every morning, and it's really important to keep your um, to keep yourself apprised and, and clear on what's really what is really the big picture out there, what's going on with the economy, with other industries worldwide. And I think I think the economy is, you know, a lot of people are too worried about the economy. It, 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 look, it, it depends on what you're selling and what you're offering. If, you have, if you're offering a commodity and you're not looking for ways to differentiate yourself and, and, and create um, value add so that you step outside the, 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 the commodity box and, and, and do things outside the box, if you can't figure that out, of course, <clears throat> the economy is going to affect you very negatively. So let's say if you're a VAR or if you're an entrepreneur running a technology company, you must ask yourself or, or, or do an analysis and ask users or customers or beta testers, um, you know, or clients to whom you're providing the service, what is it that they're looking for? What, are they, what do they like about what you're offering? What do they not, not like about what you're offering? And, and take the, the, the data points and, and improve your business, improve what you're offering, your service or product, and don't be a commodity. So <clears throat> once you're offering something unique, um, I don't think the economy is going to affect you as much. Uh, for instance, with storage, storage is always in demand. Data keeps only growing. It's not. It's not. Right. It's not getting reduced. People are just not, you know, deleting information and not recreating brand new information. So right. storage is always in demand. But but inexpensive, fairly priced storage that offers you, you know, a heck of a lot more than your competition, which is what we're trying to, to do. The economy doesn't affect that as much as you would think. And that's kind of my, you know, I hope I, I clearly answered sort of part A is, is, is add value. Step outside the box. Find a way to add value. It's not easy, but you have to do it if you were to survive and to succeed, right? Well, that's exactly so, right. Exactly right. So be unique, differentiate, offer something that people appreciate and are willing to pay for. Then the economy does not impact you as much. And part B is what keeps me going. Yeah. I mean, that's a personal question, so, so I'll answer it personally. For me personally, I love what I do. I mean, this is I, – I, I, I hate going to sleep every night because – I just I just figure when am I how soon can I wake up so I can get back to this? I mean this is <laughs> this is tremendously fun. We have an unbelievable product. We have great customers who are who are really you know they're they're really great not because they're just our customers but they they're helping us or providing feedback. They like our product. We get incredible feedback about how much they enjoy, how easy it is to use, you know, how 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 well priced it is, etc. I mean it all keeps me going. It's it's a great time. We have a great group of people at this company, and it's just an awesome team here. Um, we all love what we're doing. We're in the office at seven in the morning, working our backs off, 
Um, it's a heck of a lot of fun. We, uh, you know, I absolutely love it. It's great. But All right. That's my personal answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, right. I wish I wish everybody feels about their job the way I do. I mean, I, I truly, you know what? I, I hate to call it a job because it's it's so much fun. It's like a hobby. Little personal story I want to share with you. I had a uh, call today with Walter Scott. <laughs> oh. He just got back from a uh, a trip uh, from Malta that ended up taking 25 hours to get here with a four-hour layover in Libya. <laughs> this is right <laughs> after Gaddafi was <laughs> blowing us all Americans away at the UN. <laughs> Walter, Walter is the best software CEO that I personally know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe that I missed uh, missed a call that you had with him. So, so you had a call or a webinar uh, piece with Walter. Or, or a uh, kind of a group call with Walter. It is a uh, it's a bi bi monthly uh, phone call that uh, me and a few other uh, resellers of GFI software have with uh, Walter. And uh, I cannot believe that I missed that. I, I, I I'm going to have I'm to. I'm going to have to. <laughs> next next time. I'm going to I'm going to ask him the next time. I'm going to say Zorian wants to know how Libya was. <laughs> 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 All righty. <laughs> Thank you. As I, always, you are a great guest to have on this show, and you're welcome to call us at any time. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Zorian Rotenberg, CEO, Starwind Software, and a uh, valued sponsor of Frugal Tech Live. Thank you so much for your time today, Zorian. Thank you so much, Bruce, and thanks to everyone. Take okay, care, have everybody. a great day. See you. Bye-bye. And there we go. Um, well, he is a very, very great guest to have uh, on this show. Uh, anyhow, um, we are once again letting everybody know that as a viewer of Frugal Tech Live, um, this our sponsor, Starwind Software, is offering a 30% discount over the suggested retail price of the software so exclusive only to viewers of frugal tech live let's just let you know that right there that was great uh that was very very enjoyable he's got uh he is a harvard harvard's uh business school graduate very very intelligent fellow and knows his stuff uh when it comes to software and storage 